When Barron's features a stock pick in the magazine's pages, our reporters often try to reveal hidden gems. A common theme for a Barron stock pick is one whose full value isn't related to its price. Oftentimes, Barron's reporters will point out catalysts that can close that gap, such as the buyback plan, a spinoff, or a merger opportunity. But sometimes Barron sees opportunities in unusual places. Just take a look at Hertz Global Holdings. My colleague Andrew Barry has been following the company closely since the pandemic started in early 2020, and Hertz was forced to file for bankruptcy soon thereafter. As someone who's been following meme stocks, I find that Hertz may have been the original meme stock, considering that traders were rushing to buy shares in 2020 even as the company's fate seemed uncertain. Hertz emerged from bankruptcy in the middle of 2021 and completed a so-called re-IPO in November. So why would Barron's be interested in a company that is just coming out of bankruptcy? For starters, while the pandemic initially decimated the travel industry, cars quickly reversed course and became hot commodities as people nixed plane and train travel for automobiles. Throw in the global chip shortage, which has made getting new and even used cars expensive, and suddenly car rental companies are looking hot. The rental car industry is the best business now in travel. The industry has never been more profitable, which is a sharp contrast to, let's say, the cruise line industry, where the companies are still generating pretty significant losses. And the shortage of new cars has meant that the rental car companies can't get enough cars to meet demand. That has led to high rental car prices, as almost anybody who's rented a car since the spring can attest to. The other bonus the rental car companies are getting is that when they sell cars from their fleet, the used car market has never been stronger, so they're getting higher prices than, than ever before. So they're making money from very high rental rates when they rent cars and when they sell the cars. So it's basically a double benefit right now. But there's more to Hertz than just the current car shortage situation. Even though Hertz only re-entered public markets a month ago, it has recently announced plans to repurchase $2 billion worth of stock, or roughly 18% of its market value. Hertz is controlled by essentially a bunch of private equity investors, and they believe the stock is considerably undervalued right now. It trades in the low 20s right now, and it's valued at less than 10 times earnings. And the company, because it has no net debt on its balance sheet, is generating a lot of free cash flow, and the main owners of the company think the stock is undervalued. Meanwhile, Hertz is also looking cheap compared to some of its peers. It recently traded at 4.5 times projected EBITDA, while rival Avis trades at 7.7 .7 times. One analyst Andrew spoke with noted that Hertz has several initiatives in place to help it close that gap. This includes Hertz's plan to buy 100,000 Tesla vehicles, as well as its agreement to sell used cars through Carvana. Hertz also nabbed a deal with American Express Global Business Travel to boost rentals from small and mid-sized businesses. Hertz is a real company, it's a real, I mean, it's a real business, and it's very profitable right now. And so it's been transformed from a meme stock where basically people were playing the bankruptcy and they ended up getting a little bit lucky, people who played it during the bankruptcy, because the situation in the rental car industry rapidly improved during the, during the early part of 2001, which allowed them to get a pretty meaningful recovery when typically equity holders in bankrupt companies get wiped out. All this points to reasons why Hertz may be worth a look.